arguably one of the most important proteins in the human body, is the sodium-potassium ion exchange pump. This pump takes sodium ions from inside the cell, three at a time, and pumps them out of the cell, and takes potassium ions which are out of the cell, two at a time, and pumps them into the cell. This is an active transport pump because ATP is required. And also, uh, one observes that the sodium is being pumped against its concentration gradient. The sodium is at a higher concentration outside the cell than inside. And so that is why energy is required to pump sodium ions from inside the cell to outside. They would otherwise diffuse in the opposite direction. And so energy is required to move these uh, ions in the direction opposite that which they would otherwise go. Likewise, diffusion would drive potassium to leave a cell since it is at a high concentration inside cells. And yet this sodium-potassium exchange pump takes a potassium which is outside cells and then pumps it inside cells uh, against its concentration gradient. This requires energy because the potassium ions would normally move in the opposite direction. This sodium-potassium exchange pump is extremely important. Almost all cells of the body use it, and because three positive sodium ions are pumped out of the cell for each two potassium ions which are pumped into the cell, this establishes an electrical gradient across the cell membrane where the outside of cells tends to be more positive and the inside of the cells uh, more negative. It is this electrical gradient which establishes the resting membrane potential that the nervous and muscular systems require in order to function.